For your first visit to the Cartini Clinic, it is very important that all responsible parties participate. Everyone has important information to contribute, and when it comes time to make important treatment decisions, agreement is essential. Our intake coordinators will help you to schedule your first appointment. You can expect to spend about two and a half hours in total. We take this time because this is the most important step towards establishing an accurate diagnosis. And while eating disorders are quite rare, when they do occur, early and effective intervention is essential to successful treatment. When you first arrive, our helpful staff will assist you in completing any remaining paperwork. We strongly recommend that all parents and guardians come to this appointment. You may need to make important decisions today that will affect the entire course of treatment. After you've checked in, one of our medical assistants will come out to explain the rest of the appointment. They will then take your child back for a brief but important medical exam. Don't worry, no needles. After your child has been examined, our pediatrician will meet with you and review the Family History Questionnaire, an essential diagnostic tool. The final part of your appointment at Cartini Clinic is the most important part. It will be where you hear from the doctor, from our pediatrician, about your child's diagnosis. The first scenario is where the pediatrician says, your child's symptoms cannot be explained by an eating disorder. If that's the case, and we do see children uh, all the time who don't have eating disorders, you will be referred back to your pediatrician for further care. The second scenario is where the doctor says your child has an eating disorder, but they further go on to tell you that your child meets American Academy of Pediatrics guidelines for medical instability, which means that the symptoms of their eating habits have become so severe that your child needs to begin their care in the hospital. If your child has an eating disorder but does not meet medical instability criterion, the pediatrician will make a recommendation for the level of care that they think will best achieve a successful outcome for your individual child. That level of care will be either day treatment or outpatient, and they will be happy to explain to you all the ramifications of such a recommendation. 